Hopefully that one will be done by the time we get through this one. Okay. So, and I think I'll just share my screen and then uh, I can just go through the VOD if there's any point where you want me to like pause it. Um, if you want to talk about anything specific, we can do that. Um, and then I'll also just, you know, talk through my thoughts. Sound good? Sure. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'll try to chime in or. Okay. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. You can just call me Justin. Okay. Cool. My, my real name's William, if you want to go. Real names. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm embracing the IRL <laughs> name it's fair. It's fair. online. Okay. You started tier. Did you, I didn't actually see. Did you want to start no, tier or do you? I didn't. I've been going belt start mm -hmm. um, just for like, because I don't, I've been trying uh, playing flexible stuff. Mm -hmm. So going defensive items first kind of like leaves me open to see whatever I get dropped. But here, uh, I kind of wanted to try something else. It was the first game of the day, mm -hmm. and I got tier. Okay, yeah. I just flashed the stage and said, fuck it, tier. Yeah. No, I, I definitely agree with what everything you're saying about Belt Star. I like Belt Star a lot because I think there's just a lot of strong items that build out of it, though not as much now with Morello being nerfed, but still like a ton of good stuff that builds out of it. Um, and it's also, like you're saying, good if you want to play more flex because you can play it into AD or AP easily, whereas tier start makes me want to play AP more, but I mean, we'll see. There, there are spots where you can start tier and end up playing AD. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't see if there was a Cassidy on the first carousel, but hopefully we can get out Mutant. Um, so yeah, I would, I would hold on to the two Yordles, especially with the AP start. Darius looks good as well. What did we get from that orb? Oh, okay. Some, oh, we got a Mal's and a... Okay, so we should check what Mutant is here, um, just because it might... I mean, it, it will potentially change our decision. Um, Runic Shield actually seems decent here. You get the Vex, you can play into Yordles um, and just play an AP game from here. Bodyguard Crest is, like, more flex, I guess. But, like, with the tier start, I'd actually be pretty happy with Runic Shield here. Metabolic, I think... I haven't checked the win rate recently on it, but I feel like a while ago it was pretty poor. Um... But I mean, especially with the mouse start, I'd be interested just to take Runic Shield and play like a vertical Arcanist thing. But I guess I'd like to know what Mutant is here as well. Um, because like if it's a really like OP mutant, um, I would definitely also think about playing this. There's also like if it's um Dark Star Mutant, which is it's called like Voracious Appetite Mutant, you already have a giant spell, so you could potentially build like a ZZ Rot's portal and play into that. So it'd be nice to check what mutant Voracious. is. Is that the eight hundred HP and Gracious is the um it's the one where when your units die, they give your other units uh AD and AP. Oh okay. Um so the like the trick, the the meme with that one is if you build a ZZ Rot's portal, it counts the little uh voidling that spawns out of the ZZ Rot as a oh, unit. Oh that so you get oh, okay. extra stats. So like you you will see, um like especially like as you climb up, I mean, I guess not after the set is over, um, but like Higher, higher elo. If there's like an a, a lobby with voracious appetite mutant, um, you'll see people just spamming zz rots, like three or four people oh, just okay. building zz rots. Um, That's why I've been seeing it on meta TFT all the time. It's like, why is everyone building three zz rots? Yeah. It's like, what is this? Exactly. Okay. Um, but yeah, and also I, I think runic shield as well. Um, like getting a vex early with arcanist. Like you already have the the two yordles. You could play for a while at level four. Like. Uh, Ziggs plus Poppy plus it would probably have to be Vex plus Malzahar just so you have some kind of damage. You'd actually have a pretty good um, just like magic damage board. Though I mean Bodyguard um, Emblem isn't bad either. Um, I would like to pick up the Corky here probably just to play Yordles from this the portion. Yordles? Um, I think I do. Okay. Yeah. I mean it's, it's the last sure. second of the round. Let's see. Okay. No, but nope. wait, the, but oh. then there's another Corky in the shop. So. Oh. Okay. Maybe that's why I had yeah. a thought. I think I go Yordles here mm -hmm. for one round and then get shit on and then <laughs> I just change it up because I usually go for like early bodyguard tank. That's just what I'm comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't remember where I was going with that. <laughs> uh, yeah. so yeah, I usually don't go for Arcanist because I'm just not comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. But I think I this is like the first game I try going Arcanist, mm -hmm. and we'll see how it pans out. Yeah, I mean, I think if uh, I mean even with the bodyguard um emblem, if you played like three Yordles, and then you can put a bodyguard spat on, so it would be like. Uh, Ziggs, Poppy, Corky with the ones you had, then probably plus another bodyguard, and then you like could throw a bodyguard ammo on Ziggs, but it's probably more likely that you're just getting it on some unit once you level five, so you might not be able to use it. Um, if you had 
the Vex, which we wouldn't have gotten because uh, we took Bodyguard mm -hmm. Emblem. But like, if you have Bodyguard Emblem and Vex, you can also slam it on Vex, and it's like decent. Um, but yeah, I mean, with three Yordles here, AP start, I would I would feel fine playing. Um, oh, and it's and it's Omnivamp, which is like okay, yeah, it's not really a mutant that I would like want to hard force or anything. Um, so that would have made me think, like. I would be down to play Vertical Arcanist with Runic Shield start. You could also scout and like make sure no one else is in Vertical Arcanist if uh, you think about going that route. But I mean, if you're just if you're more comfortable with the Bodyguard, uh, I mean that kind of makes sense to play. Um, but yeah, I, I think I would have gotten uh, Yordles in here just because like your board's not super strong uh, either way. I mean, you would have had uh, if you'd picked up the Corky in the previous shop and then the Corky in this next shop, you would have had two Corkies. You'd be pretty close to getting a Corky too. This shop is a poppy and a zigs in it though it's like it's kind of affected by the fact that you sold that poppy earlier but like you might yeah uh have gotten to a spot where you could play um poppy. oh and also um last round we didn't play zigs which would have been nice for this board we're playing three bodyguard which is fine but if you get zigs and you get in scrap and uh, arcanist so that that would be a stronger board uh you could just play zigs over darius here if you want to keep up the uh the bodyguard rex i which seems fine yeah, I think I thought at this point I had four bodyguards, but oh. I just couldn't count. And I think I swapped Ziggs last second here. No. Maybe next round. I think next year I, I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, I think I do. I don't remember. Yeah, I mean, we get in four bodyguards next level, which it sounds okay. I probably would still have the Ziggs in. Um, I'd probably get in, like, Ziggs plus another Yordle next level. Um, oh, just because it's Scrap, too. Oh, yeah, and there's... um, Yeah, you get to Scrap it with the Ziggs, and you also... I would have held that, um, that Echo just potential for scrap at some point um we already have the blue buff slam so it's not like huge value but it could be good i mean for scrap is still strong okay now we have a zigs we should definitely play the zigs okay we get the zigs in that's nice that's nice um so yeah i think this is fine probably not making gold here so we can just buy out the shop um also we have a nine turn egg so that's what, the end of next stage yeah so we'll see what we get out of that that's like items i believe it's not like a radiant item or anything. I think it's just like a bunch of items. I think it's two mm -hmm. normal items. Yeah, that, that sounds right to me. Um, you could buy the shop there. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, okay, so we just have a giant's belt here. Um, so we could build a tank item. Since we have a bunch of bodyguards, getting HP is nice because they're gonna get a bunch of um, they're gonna get a bunch of armor from bodyguards. So having more HP is more helpful. They kind of like. They scale. The effective HP. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, so I'd feel pretty decent about picking up a giant spell tier. Um, if it was the past, I, I would really like to take a rod here and build Morellos, but like now I'm not the biggest fan of Morello Slam early. It's just not that great of an item. Like, especially as like a damage item for Malzahar. It's okay, but like not the best. But it's also on a Vex, so it's something you could think about. Um if you like wanted to play mutants from here, there's a Cho'Gath, but I don't think you should play around Omnivamp mutants. So, yeah, I'd be down. I, th I think the rod is also acceptable to take. It's a three cost, um, and you can just start looking for um, like more AP items because you're definitely playing yeah. uh, some kind of AP from this spot. So, yeah, I think this is fine. I was um, interested in Arcanist at this point, I think, so I decided to start getting AP items. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. I got the rod. I think I was still debating over... Um, uh, Giant's belt or not. Mm -hmm. So I know that Morello got nerfed, but I still know if it's still good on Malzahar at this point. I think it's fine. Um, let me pull up Meta TFT real quick. Um, because I actually haven't checked like the stats for Malzahar. I, I bet it's still like fine, but it might not be best in slot. I mean, mostly people aren't building Malzahar carry, but yeah, like it looks like the best carry builds. Like some of them use uh, Morellos. If you look at just individual items on, is that what you usually use? I've been going to full builds, but I think it feel like I feel like it's been getting messed up with the new uh, patch. Yeah, Being like reset each patch. Yeah, I, I usually uh, look at full builds, but like sometimes uh, I'll check this out just because, like, for a unit here like Malzahar, where it's like defaulting to these like supportive builds, because it seems like people aren't really building. Mal's carry, they're building more supportive and playing like maybe Kaisa carry or something. Sometimes it could be nice just to be like, okay, I don't really care about Chalice and Banshees. What are like the next best few items? It looks like Morellas is still fine. The The problem, um, if you were to like Sam and Morellas on Mal's is like, who are you playing late game? 
Um, like I, I, I don't like Malzahar reroll that much. Um, so like if you're if you want to play like vertical Arcanist, you're pro you're playing like Ari carry, and then ideally if you can get to like super super late game Victor carry. Um, neither of them really like Morellos that much. It's okay on Ari, but it's not best. Um, so I probably wouldn't uh, send the Morellos here. Also, you'd have to sell a Rek'Sai, which I guess you could. The Rek'Sai isn't doing that much for you. Yeah, just um, a one star. I can just replace it with whatever. Yeah, but like, yeah, I, I don't think it's that helpful to uh, some Morellos here. And you can also get the scrap value onto the Ziggs. So I think this is fine here. Um, you're also uh, level four here. You could potentially level up. Um, I, I, I usually do. I think I just forgot. Mm -hmm. I was just, yeah. oh, oh, I know what happened. I was. This is when I was messaging you earlier. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. But yeah, I'd I'd be down to level up here. Uh, I would I would get in uh, Yordles. You can get in Vex plus um, Poppy really easily here, and then yeah, you could even move the bodyguard emblem over to Vex so that you'd you'd have three bodyguard in, but it'd still be pretty mm -hmm. decent. Um, but yeah, I'd be fine just scrapping the the rod on Ziggs. You're gonna get more zigs later on the difference between zigs one and zigs two i mean like right now it's good but like super late game swapping out the zigs so that you can move the rod is not like a big deal um so yeah i think i would have liked to get in yordles here especially i mean we'll see what uh and we could we could buy the um the corky here we might not play it but like if we like high roll a corky two out of the shop um then we'd look at playing it um okay well it's two is good um but yeah, at this point, I mean, we could level. Um, I don't really want to sell the Dariuses because we can potentially get to four bodyguard, but it is a bit awkward. I would probably, yeah, I would definitely um, just take the Rek'Sai out here for anything. Um, looks like maybe you wanted to play Yordles, but you couldn't uh, yeah. get it in fast enough. Um, but just in general, like if if there was no um, if there was no Nar in shop, I would definitely look to just swap Rex out for one of these guys, um, just so that you can make twenty gold here. Um, since we're buying the the Nar, we're not going to make twenty unless we sell it later. We'll see. Um, but just swapping out the the Rex eye for one of these bodyguards, it's not like the biggest difference. It's probably like maybe slightly better. It's like slightly better than Poppy, maybe about the same as Darius. Um, but just making twenty would be big, and I don't really want to sell any of these bodyguards. Whereas like getting in mutants, it's okay, but it doesn't matter that much. Um, but yeah, we're on a two loss streak here. We'll see if we lose this. This person is also level four, so we're gonna kill almost two. Okay, Bad. and we end up selling the Dariuses. So yeah, I would have preferred to. Um, let's see, we we were still playing the Rexai, right? Yeah, I would have preferred to sell the Rexai instead of the Dariuses because we can potentially get to uh, four bodyguard. Whereas the Rexai, I mean, you can get mutants in, but I'd rather I'd rather play four bodyguard um, than three mutant here. I think unless there's like a really specific reason why our comp wants it, like if we had like I don't know, like a first aid kit uh, augment, then I would think about mutants maybe. But I'd rather just the four bodyguard here. Okay. Okay. But another Rexi is so uh, like maybe we can end up playing the four Rexi. And okay, so we finally get to this board, which looks pretty good. Um, we get in the Nar for Striker. Um, but yeah, I would have like if we had way 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 back when taken the uh, the runic shield, we would have had a vex in. We could have. Got that other Vex off Carousel. Um, we would have had two Vexes. Like maybe there's a world where we have like Vex two or like almost Vex two by this point. Um, we took the Bodyguard Emblem instead, which is fine. Um, but I, I think there's a there's a pretty straightforward game you could have played uh, where you just like play Arcanists uh, with like the the tier hold start. Two. Um, just like hold the Ordles until I could sell them off for some econ, I would assume, and then switch it straight into Arcanist. Yeah, I mean. If you I Mm -hmm. you can, if I did do that, when would you, like, uh, pivot off of, I mean, like, maybe, like, would you pull out the poppy, I guess? Right. Yeah, because you're, yeah, like you said, pull out the poppy because, like, you're always playing Vex plus Ziggs. Like, maybe mm -hmm. super late game you take out Ziggs, but even then he gives you scrap. So if you get, like, a Jinx in super late game, it can be nice. Um, I mean, it really depends on your board, but, like, probably around the time, um, it. It kind of depends. If you get like an Arcanist spatula, you can even play something like a Arcanist Lulu and just play that um, for a really long time, like potentially even the entire game. Um, mm -hmm. But if you're if you're just playing the Poppy, then yeah, usually around stage four, I'd play it through all of stage three, and then maybe in stage four after Carousel, when you're rolling to try to find your board, you can take out the Poppy. Or if you're like losing a lot of HP, you can take it out for something stronger uh, at the beginning of stage four, or even like at the end of stage three. Um, but yeah, if you're just playing those three Yordles, I think it's fine to play them for a while. 
um, through, through most of stage three, if not all of it. Um, okay, and so our items here, we get a, a bow and another giant's belt. Not the best. I mean, I would honestly think about building a ZZ rod here, even though it's not um, that specific mutant. Like, it, it'll help you with your front line. And, like, what really are you going to end up doing with bow and, um, yeah, I don't know. and giant's belt in this comp? Uh, like, giant's belt could become warmogs, but then, like, you have to play around the bow, which is awkward. So, I mean... If you get a like a chain vest, the bow can become like a titans. If you end up playing, um, if you end up playing like Arcanist, you can build like a titans on uh, Vex and just make her super strong and tanky. Um, but yeah, I I think I would I think I would slam ZZ Rod here. The other option is slam Warmogs and then try to get maybe a titans and then an AP item. But uh, I'd like to slam something here just to save HP and make our board a little bit stronger. Um, we have a lot of gold here, so. I'd probably just sell this Senna here. Looks like we actually kind of close. Eh, no, nah, not even a close fight. Yeah, sell either the Senna or the Rek'Sai. Um, we could even potentially hold on to the Lucian over like Rek'Sai. And I mean, we don't have an Arcanist uh, emblem, but we might get one off this. And then we could potentially play like like a long time ago, like the, the twin shot Arcanist's um, comp was like quite strong. It's not as good now, but there is like a, a world where you play three Yordle, you play... Um, Ziggs, Vex, and uh, Corky, and then you get an Illusion. He gives you Twin Shot. You can get in a Swain, and that'll give you another Arcanist plus another Twin Shot, and um, you'll have a pretty decent board. So I'd think about holding this Illusion here. Probably other Rek'Sai. Just yeah, I, I don't think there's much of a future for playing Rek'Sai in this comp. Um, okay, and yeah, you'd sell. Again, we're pivoting to mutants. I mean, I'm I'm, yeah. inter I'm interested to see. How this goes definitely getting in the blitz it's, is good it's interesting uh because i don't play omnivamp mutants just straight up uh a lot but i mean it i really did not feel good at all yeah okay <laughs> yeah i mean the chose the chose tank and your board's doing okay here that's not bad um okay and we're we're about to hit the augment um i don't know if this is something you think about it's something that i'm trying to think about more and especially because there's also going to be augments in next set. I think it's just something important with augments in general is that like augments are tailored to the units that you have on board. Well, it's really like the synergies that you have in. Is it now? Yeah. Like, oh, it, I did it, not know that. Yeah, it's your your second and third augment. The first one is completely random, uh, but your second and third augments, they are slightly tailored to what you have in board. It doesn't mean like you have three mutant okay. here, so you're always going to get a mutant augment, but it means like, like you having in two arcanist in here means that I believe it's that you can't get like a knife's edge or certain like AD augments. Um, there's certain things where like if you're playing, uh, if you're playing like snipers, you'll never get like a knife's edge augment. Um, so like things like I, I in general, right before I'm hitting this augment, like to make my comp sort of like similar to what I think my late game comp is going to be. So if you think you're going to play Arcanists here, get in. It's really just like getting in two Arcanists, like getting in the first. I'm pretty sure it's only like two units. Like even if you have two mutant, I believe it will uh it will count it for like mutant augments. Um so it's just something to think about. Um like helping like getting uh the units basically that you want to play late game in at three two so that you can uh get better augments. Though like, you know, you shouldn't like grief your entire board and play some like awful board just so that you can get synergies <laughs> okay. in. Um but something like this, like like this looks good here that you have the two Arcanist in, you have three mutant in, so you can potentially play around one of those. So, though, I don't know if I would... Like, if I got plus one mutant here, would I play five Omnivamp? Probably not. Okay. And we have an Arcanist heart. Dude, I'm... The, the Arcanist game from this spot, I mean, it would have been completely different, but if we took Runic Shield first and then got Arcanist heart here, I feel like it's just, like, free. Um, yeah, I think it would have been much nicer. Even, even so, I think with our items and our spot, Arcanist heart is pretty good if you really want to play around mutants and like Cho'Gath you can take underdogs and go that route I would I'd probably take the Arcanist heart but I wouldn't be like that like I think maybe maybe there's a world where underdog I mean you're already getting the healing off Omnivamp so like that you're gonna have so much healing if you take um underdog I don't know if I would I, I would probably just take I, I would just take Arcanist heart here I'd be interested on what a game if you take underdogs, looks like. And then weak spot is okay to reduce healing, but yeah, I, I would just take Arcanist start here. And you get another Swain, which is nice. Um, and we're playing three for now. Again, we just get Swain in over the Ziggs, which 
Whatever. I, I think, I mean, you're probably trying to pivot to like more Arcanists because I feel like, I feel yeah, like at that point. getting a scrap in is probably better just to play the Ziggs too for this round. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, so the board can, I mean, we're just like, I'm so weak. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we kind of have a tanky board. Oh, do you sold the Ziggs there? We, I, I would hold on to the Ziggs. Um, if anything, just sell the Rex. I'd like to play more vertical Arcanists because you have uh, the plus one Arcanist. Because I don't know, you might go looking for that Ziggs later and not be able to find it. We'll see. Um, all right. So our items are bow and rod to build stuff out of. Like I was saying, we could build the Titans just to have more front line. We could build out of the rod either an AP item for uh, Malzahar and eventually Ari, or we could build like a. Um, an Ionic Spark is really nice in a lot of AP comps. Um, I would probably look for just building an AP item like a, a Gunblade, which will be good on Malz and will be good on Ari. So if we could get that sword, I would take that. Um, there is a Cho'Gath with a... Like, there's a world where you could take this Cho here and I'm finding a Cho'Gath 2 with Ionic Spark and it would be something. But yeah, I think I'd rather just um, go for the Gunblade here. You take the Giant's Belt here, so that's probably looking to build Morellos, I would assume. Yeah, and also for Kha'Zix in or general. just to get the Kha'Zix. I, think I replace him with something. I think I level up here and put him in. Okay, we'll see. I don't know what I do. I think... Maybe I hold him. I think I hold him for okay, now. Okay, okay, we'll wait see. Then next turn. Okay, or maybe you sell Cho? I, mean, I think I sell him, actually. Okay, okay. Oh, there you go. Okay, so yeah, okay. you sell, get the, the Kha'Zix in here. I mean, this is okay. I still want to be playing more around... Just Arcanists, because we have the plus one Arcanist, there's a world where we can get to like eight Arcanists late game. So I'd rather just play more for like the Arcanists than for the mutants. Um, but I mean, Kha'Zix's a fine unit. The other thing is like, what are you going to do with this Giants build? It could become Morello's later, but yeah, I'm not sure. like I was talking about earlier, I don't think that's the strongest. Um, so we'll see. I mean, Kha'Zix is a good unit. He's, he's definitely doing work here, but I think just... Or like your late game build, it'd probably be better just take the sword, and then we can slam Gunblade on Malzahar. I mean, it's repetitive right now because we already have the Omni vamp, but like later, I would take out uh, mutants. Okay, nice. Uh, swing two, uh, and we roll here. I don't think there's a reason that we should roll at this this spot. Like we roll once here at level six. I think I was trying to replace Sedge for something else, maybe like uh, Leona or something. Yeah, I mean, it's not the best have Sejuani in, but he's giving you Hextech and Bruiser. Like, I honestly think this unit's fine. And it's, you're 74 HP. It's not like you're, like, dying. Um, True. Like, we're gonna go 7 soon. So I, I usually just think, like, in situations like this, like, I don't really want to roll at 6 because it's so close to me going 7 that, like, I would rather just wait out this one round, and then I can go 7, and then I can, if I want to roll, I can just roll at 7, have better odds of hitting Malzahar, have better odds of hitting, uh, like, Ari, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I tend not to roll when I'm like, when it's pretty close to, to me going to the next level, just cause I think it's not like, uh, like you're not really getting that much value. You, you could just wait one round and then roll at seven, which would, you're getting a lot more value out of that roll. Basically the Morellos, the secret Morellos Kha'Zix build. I was checking to see <laughs> if did any magic damage that I was probably planning on. I think I plan on pivoting off of mutants pretty soon. Mm hmm yeah, that's fair. Well, it looks like we're going to win this round, so that's nice. We're, yeah, I mean, we end this stage 53 HP, 74, or 53 gold, 74 HP. It's uh, not bad. We get Leona, we get JG, uh, Frozen Heart. I don't know what we're going to do with the Frozen Heart, but the JG can be really good with all the extra AP we get. And we crack that open immediately, see an Arcanist emblem. I'm completely down to just take that and play Infinite, infinite Arcanists. Okay, yeah, we take Arcanist Emblem. We have too many items. Um, yeah, we get another, I was pretty dizzy. Yeah, we get another bow here. Um, so I'm definitely looking at these two um, and looking to build like a Titans on my tank, which will like probably be Vex later. Just go vertical Arcanist and play this on Vex. Um, with the JG, I'm interested to see what's in here because like if it's a glove or a sword, you could look to go like IE JG um, and have like insane damage with. Um, like potentially eight Arcanist late game. Um, mm -hmm. The Frozen Heart's a bit awkward. I'd think about reforging it, honestly. Um, we'd like reforge the Frozen Heart plus a bow. Um, but yeah, we, we do have to slam some items here. And we have a decent amount of gold. I would definitely like to go seven here. I think, honestly, I mean, we'll see. Um, I, like, my my own gameplay is very different, like, 
like I play for my own elo. Um, so like I would probably look to level up here and roll to stabilize my board because I feel like we're not that strong. Um, I mean, we have the two star Swain and Blitz, but like I don't know, it's a very weird board that we have in here, and our carries uh, one star. So I would honestly probably look to level and roll here and make like a six Arcanist board. Um, but like, like the lower elo you are it feels like the more greedy lobbies are and like sometimes you can even oh, get sure <laughs> sometimes like you can even get punished like if you played the way i would play here and like level up and start rolling down you might get punished so like i mean from this spot like i i haven't played in in this elo lobby in a sec so i don't know 100 percent, but i would imagine it's it might be fine to to like not roll it all here uh to probably just go seven put in a random unit like maybe a scrap it would be nice to have a zigs in here um and then just just wait and go eight. Um, but like you should think about like as as you climb higher, you might see situations where you like don't roll it all here and take a bunch of damage. And then you can start saying, OK, maybe I should start like rolling more often um, at these spots. And I'm slamming Morellos, which uh, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of. It's not that bad, though. Um, but I mean, like we, we have the doesn't feel very good. Yeah. But also, the mouth is still level one. So yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, and then we have the rest of our items. So, I mean, I would be fine with Titan Slam, and then I'd probably just reforge uh, Bow plus Ra plus uh, Frozen Heart, because Frozen Heart's not going to get that much value in our comp, because we have no one... I mean, we can put him on Kha'Zix for now, but once Kha'Zix comes out, like, the Arcanist comp, if you play, like, Vertical Arcanist, you're never... You don't, you don't have a unit that's, like, getting to the back line in the way that, like, a Kha'Zix is or an Echo is, and that's where Frozen Heart really shines. Uh, I do like keeping um, the Negatron Cloak here, just because it can become Ionic Spark, which could be really nice. Mal's has MR reduction on his ult, but um, it's only hitting like one unit at a time. Whereas like if you have like a, a Vex with Ionic Spark, it can hit like their entire front line. I also think rolling here. Okay, we end up hitting Mal's too. But I would just go seven. If, you, if you're going to roll here, I'd go seven and then roll here. I, I don't think you should roll at six here because you have enough gold to go seven roll. Um, and you can build a, a much stronger board from this position. Um, like in most situations where I can level and then roll, I will. Um, like, you know, if there's, if you were like exactly 50 gold at the start of this round, um, then like maybe, but that's like, that's like barely ever going to happen at four or one, unless you're like rolling a lot at six earlier. Um, so I would just go seven here and then roll. Um, and then you can find Mel's hard two and maybe some upgrades. Uh, but you end up hitting Mel's hard two rolling at six, which is decent. Um, but the only issue is you're stuck at level six here. So if anyone else is like going seven and building strong boards, you might, Take some damage. Yeah, I would usually go seven if I'm on like five, four win streak. Mm -hmm. But I was also just super dizzy yeah, with yeah. that egg. The <laughs> egg yeah. was crazy. No, I hear you. I hear you. All right. So we get Vexen. Yep. I think this is pretty good. I would rather, uh, like Titans. I was saying, yeah, I get Titans on Vex. I think it's just okay. a good item on her. And if you're going to play the Frozen Heart, then it'll go on Kha'Zix uh, for now, just because he's getting to the back line. It's a lot more useful. Um, and yeah, we don't have that last Arcanist. It looks like we're holding Syndicates to. Potentially um, play with Ari later, which I think is okay. Like if you get like a two star Brom, two star, um, two star Morgana, I think it's fine to play. Wow, this guy kind of wrecked us. Um, yeah, I think here is when I got scared. I was like, oh wow, I'm getting destroyed. Yeah, but it's. Oh, what do I do? I, I, don't, I don't think know. our board is too weak in this situation. Maybe this person just has a really strong board. I mean, they have five innovators in quite good items on Ori. Quite. Oh good. yeah. Uh, well, like, oh, pretty good items on Seraphine. My front line's quite weak, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're, we're also bunched up like this, where which makes it a lot easier for Orianna uh, and Singe to really wreck our comp. Like, I think early game, you uh, you were bunched up, which I think kind of makes sense with Blitzcrank, like, trying to just kill units early. But, like, as you get into these later game fights, AoE is going to be a lot more prevalent um, with stuff like Orianna, Seraphine, just, like, uh, a lot of the, the carries, uh, like, five and four cost carries. Um, so I would, I would start, you know, putting your front line in the actual first row and, and spreading out a bit more because yeah, that Oriana shockwave hits like everyone except Miles, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Literally everyone except Miles. And then the fight is like very difficult from that point. Um, so yeah, I would start just frontlining more units and spreading out a little bit. Um, you can also, I mean, you're like you said, you're, you're pretty dizzy at this point. Um, but if if you had all your items slammed and everything figured out, then you can start obviously scouting and like seeing uh, what kind of positioning you need for different comps. We keep rolling here at seven. Okay, so like you said, um, 
about just being scared. I, I think you're just scared in this position. Um, so you, you decide to like roll down and try to stabilize your board. But like if you look at your board uh, just objectively, we have two star Rek'Sai, two star Malzahar, two star Swain, two star um, Blitzcrank. These guys are all one star, but like what what are we really rolling for in this position? I mean, we're rolling today. Uh, yeah, I'm Arc looking for a six Arcanist. I think yeah. I just say fuck it with um with Brand. I think I put him in right now. Yeah, I don't I, remember. I would definitely put in Brand over the um the Senna. That was yeah. for some reason every time I say Samira. Um, but yeah, I would definitely put in uh, Brand over the Senna, and then you don't have to roll anymore. Um, like if you want to roll for an Arcanist. I, I still probably wouldn't. You only have one more round to go before Carousel. Uh, I like to to usually just go eight after Carousel. I think if we didn't roll as much here, um, I mean, it'd be easier. We still won't have a lot of gold, so we might have to like tough it out these two rounds, then go eight after Raptors. We have 49, we'd have 50 gold. Um, and then after here, we could potentially go eight, um, though we wouldn't have a lot to roll down with. But yeah, we roll. I, I would just stop right at the brand because that's all you really need to make this board even stronger but even then um like i i would also just probably not roll in this position just because i think the board is strong enough i think you fought someone who was pretty strong there and your positioning was a little bit poor against that player but i don't think your board is that weak the entire lobby is playing uh innovators uh but yeah this is another position where you're grouped up the the seraphine ult hits your whole team applies morellos on your whole team um it'd be a lot better if you just had your front line a bit more front line and spread out uh, especially because you're this Omnivamp mutant, so the Morellas actually hurts your team a lot. Uh, and we also didn't get in six Arcanists there, which would have been really nice. Oops. Um, okay, and so as far as items, I mean, we have carry items done. We have so many items just because the egg. Um, I think here I look for um, a clove. Actually, okay. I don't know what I go here. Okay. I think I just. I would probably. I don't remember. I'd probably look for Rod to build an, ion an Ionic Spark for our front line. I just think it's a really good uh, item if you're playing any kind of AP comp. Um, even more so like with like Renata Bruisers, but I don't play that that much um, nowadays just because I don't think it's as strong right now. Um, but yeah, like, okay, we end up taking just the, the Galio with the best, which is fine. But yeah, I would prefer to look for that. Like, was it possible for you to get a Rod off Carousel? Maybe it was already taken. Yeah, it looks like it was already taken. So in like this position, I think taking the Galio here is fine. It looks like you like think about the glove. Um uh and then maybe the oh, Yeah, I was gonna go for glove and it got snatched. I think I wanted IE. And yeah. maybe sell my Malzahar or something for later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I Ice. Think you guys just playing like Thorn Mail and I don't remember what I do. I think I put in six Arcanists at this point though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just Arcanist Spat anywhere. Probably I would put on this R. It looks like you're trying like you really care a lot about getting the socialite hex, but I, I don't think it's worth it at all. Yeah, I would, I would definitely just spread my team out more. Uh, just like frontline my team. You're you're grouping up so much here, and like I don't know. We'll see at the end of the fight how much damage Vex ends up doing, but I bet it's not that much. Um, and we do. You are slamming some items. We do have to get some items slammed. But yeah. Oh, we're we're on shielding healing, so I can't see. Okay, Vex did. It was like under a thousand damage there. I think. Oh yeah, it, for sure. I think um, I think I'm used to clumping because I've been uh, fascinated with the enchanters with mm -hmm. redemption. So yeah. I think that it's like bleeded into the rest of my gameplay. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but yeah, I think I mean in general, I even heard people talking about that comp and being like, I think enchanters are broken, but these people who like group up with it uh, with redemption are just like trolling their positioning, like. Like some people are just like enchanters are good, but like that positioning is troll. Especially now that um like they nerf the redemption stacking. Um, like I don't think that comp is as good. Um, I don't know if you saw, but there was like a hot fix. Like I heard about it, but I never. I was looking for it, but I never saw anything about it. Like in the patch notes. Yeah, they're it's bad. You have to like check Reddit or check Mort Dog's Twitter <laughs> oh, stuff okay. to like actually know when changes are happening to the game, which is kind of insane. Um. But yeah, uh, but yeah, they they made it so redemption, the damage reduction from redemption doesn't stack with multiple redemptions. So I don't think the comp's as good. Oh wait, that's crazy that it did before. That's yeah, yeah, that's nuts. Definitely. Uh, you take your Lotus here, which I think is fine. Uh, I mean, you already have the JG, but it's just giving you extra crit chance, which isn't bad. Um, I mean, at I, this point, I was planning for 
Arcanist, so I just assume that's a better synergy than every the other two. Yeah. I don't think I needed well I guess my items are kind of garbage offensively. I could have went for a component in my head. Binary airdrop. I don't know. I don't know what I would do with that. Yeah, I mean it's a bit awkward to play binary from this spot. Um but you do I mean you have the the emblem here, so that's an extra item for binary. It's it, it would be fine. You could probably play binary from here, but I, I feel totally fine about just taking uh jeweled lotus here. So yeah, I think this is good. Especially if we can get to like eight arcanists, then it's gross. Um okay, we find an Ari here. But like the thing, uh I mean, let's see, we have plus two arcanists, so we can we can get to eight arcanists without playing uh Victor, but I would I would be looking to go uh level nine here and okay, so we're just gonna reforge everything. That's kinda lit. I'm like kind of down for that. There's probably better stuff we could have made, like I talked about with the um the Ionic Spark, uh like the Titans. Um but I don't completely hate reforging here. It also just like saves you brain power. You don't even have to think about the items you build. You just reforge them and then okay, I gotta play around these. Exactly. <laughs> I think that's where I was at this point, because I, I was vodding, I was like, hmm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I had like the extra pressure of like doing something, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't want to just end completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, it helps you uh definitely made it easier. Yeah, yeah, it makes it easier for you. So it's not the worst thing. This guy's a victor. But yeah, I, I wouldn't roll too much at seven here. I would because like what are you rolling for at seven here? You're rolling for like Ari, but you'd rather roll for Ari at eight. Uh you'd rather roll for basically everything at eight except for like a Ziggs, which you'll need to get an eight Arcanists. Or I mean technically you don't need it if you get an everything but Ziggs, though I'd rather play Ziggs over um brand late game. Um but yeah, I'd rather go eight. Going eight uh gives you access to Silco, which will be really nice just to like Make your frontline stronger. Uh, Jinx is also a nice unit just to get in an Arcanist. It just gives you scrap, but like she does a bunch of damage with her explosion. You already have Morello, so you don't need the healing reduction that much, but it's like it's still quite good. Um, okay, so we go right here, start rolling down. If we find a Silco, I'd hold the Silco. The Ari is really good. Hit Ari too. Uh, we have another Mal's, so I feel fine about moving Ari uh, or Mal's items over to Ari. Um, get in Silco, which I think is good. So uh, we can we can get. Um, Morgana in over this, uh, and we don't have a Zig, so we still can't get in eight Arcanist. So yeah, I would get in Morgana, uh, probably to get Syndicate in over Bodyguard. Then we just have this like, random Bodyguard emblem that's not doing anything. Um, so I mean, ideally it'd be a Brom, uh, but I would move, I'd move Mal's items over to Ari, uh, just because she's gonna be a better holder. At least of um, at least for blue buff plus JG, you could even just put blue buff JG on Ari and then like try to find a good uh, final item later. Um, I feel there are not a, so I don't think there's ever a world where we play this. Um, just because we could play Silco instead. Oh, we hit Victor. That's pretty good. Um, it does only a Victor one. But okay, so then... I think I get pretty dizzy here trying to think of what to do. I think this is fine. Um, what you have here, I mean, you can cut Blitz, but then you're losing um, Bodyguard. I, I think just this board is completely fine. Um, and then you can put some supportive items, yeah, on Victor, I would say. Um, I, I think it's still, I, I'd want to move the items to Ari, but it's not like the biggest if um, Ari versus uh, Malzahar. I, I think it is fine to put the supportive items on Victor just because, like, uh, I don't know if we're getting that many more items on Victor this game. Okay, I saw that. I was like, wait, we had another item that's like their item that's just sitting there. Okay. Um, but yeah. yeah. I was like, ooh. Yeah. This is candy. <laughs> I think this part's not bad. I would. Uh, I mean, there was a Jinx there. We have okay front line. We could potentially get in Jinx over Blitz, and then ideally you get a Ziggs in and get Scrap in, which would be quite helpful. This is where, um, like, you know, 10 rounds or whatever ago, selling the the Ziggs. Like, we don't have Ziggs in here, we don't get Scrap, which would be a nice shield onto our whole team. Um, if if I'm selling stuff on Victor, I would just slam the blue buff plus uh, JG and not put the Morellos on him. Just leave the Morellos on, you know, sell the Mels and then put it back on Mels. Um, would be fine, just because we're actually close to Carousel here. Um, and I mean, I don't know if I would even say that it's better on Victor, but it'll probably apply more people now. I'll think it was. I think we're dying here. Okay. Yeah, it was doomed. <laughs> I was too dizzy first Arcanist game ever. So. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, if you're not uh, if you're not used to playing Arcanist, then yeah, I mean, a lot of these decisions are difficult. Um, if you if you just get more familiar with playing it, like a lot of it will be second nature playing the the Silco, um, getting an eight Arcanist, holding onto the Ziggs for late game to get in. Um, scrap, scrapless bodyguard. Also, just like the positioning throughout the game, I think grouping up uh, made us take more damage than we should have. 
Um, and I think just playing the Arcanist game, that first augment, taking the um, the Runic Shield would have been really nice and really straightforward, especially because mm -hmm. we already had the two Yordles. We just get back, get in Vex. Getting in Vex when you want to play Arcanist is really nice because you're just farming those Vexes and those Zigs. You can get like a Zigs 3 yeah. and have that in potentially. Um, but yeah. Okay. I never fully read the Runic Shield. I always just read the Shield part and I didn't realize it gave you a Vex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, um, it's... I. I was surprised too reading it because I I haven't gotten a chance to take it in a sec, but it does it does say here gain of X, uh, which is like kind of yeah, busted. Just... <laughs> um, yeah, that's actually nice. So yeah, I definitely especially like for a first augment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And then yeah, like I talked about some of the item slamming things. I don't know if I I think I probably wouldn't end up slamming Morellos, um, slamming stuff like ZZ Rot, like I was talking about slamming at Titans. Uh, like you could end up also reforging that frozen heart because the frozen heart on Vex ended up not really doing that much. Uh, especially because we grouped like this, you know, a lot of these fights, Vex is getting Frozen Heart on, like, these two units, uh, which is really, like, nothing. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So, that's the first game. Is the other one uh, uploaded yet? Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, it looks like it. Let me hit the link. Uh, let me get out of this full screen. That does not look like the right link. Or, oh, it's shorter? Yeah, it worked. Yeah, YouTube links are weird sometimes. Okay, cool. And I spent a lot of time on that last game, so I'll go a little bit faster through this one. Um, and okay, we got 360p quality. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we get the idea of the the units. All right, so we have Giant's Felt start here, um, which I think is fine, uh, like we were talking about earlier. Um, I'll check. I always want to check real quick if there was a Malzahar. All right, I was called Malzahar, Cassid on Kara, so it looks like there wasn't, so we can't check Mutant yet. But I would be in the habit of just always checking Mutant as soon as possible because it can affect, like the like the Runic Shield decision uh, earlier. Like it might, uh, like knowing what Mutant is might affect your decision there. Like you can even if you're like really crazy, you can be like tapping through people's boards and see if they get like a Malzahar off a of an orb or something. But that's that's a bit much. Uh, picking up the double poppies, I think, is fine. Um, yeah, I, I would look around and see if there's a acid in anywhere, any kind of mutant, just so you can check. I think you are, so that's good. Uh, oh my god, okay, Vex, Ziggs. Um, sell the Ziggs immediately. I, I'm down to hold the Ziggs and play Triple Yordles and uh, uh, Arcanists. It's a slightly awkward start to play Arcanists because you have the Glove, which is like a little bit hard to use, though it can be like a QSS for Vex. It can be really good. Uh, I would just take Component Grab Bag here. It's the most, like reliable uh most like general like you can play it in any comp celestial blessing isn't bad either i'm pretty sure future sight isn't that strong yeah so that looks good to me um i get three of those three and that made it weird for sure mm -hmm. i think i go i still have the giant spell too i don't remember i think i slam redemption i think this is yeah this is the enchanters game that i go okay uh so i think here uh i'm just looking for triples Mm -hmm. Um, I think I hit two. One, two. Uh, I think I slam a redemption here on Cassidin. I, I pull out Camille. Yeah, I think that's fine. We ended up selling Vex. It looks like I would. I I mean, when I see a Vex start, it's less uh, like Arcanists are. I mean, Arcanists are pretty good now because uh, if you get like a Tome, if you get a an Arcanist emblem, you can play Arcanists, and it's you can play eight Arcanists or. Uh, just play six Arcanist easier, and it's pretty solid. Um, so I mean, especially because we had Poppy, Vex, and Ziggs, I, I would definitely look to play. Uh, would have looked to play Arcanist earlier, and then like QSS is a really good item. Uh, Quicksilver is a really good item on Vex. You could slam that immediately. You could slam like Quicksilver. Yeah. Um, just because it prevents. Um, it one it gives her dodge chance, which is nice. Um, oh. Two, it like making her not CCable, uh, especially in. Um, like comps where Vex is like your only source of frontline is actually really nice. Like imagine you fight a board that has like a Singed as their frontline. Uh, if you're playing just Vex without Quicksilver, he can just flip your Vex into your entire team and like you lose the fight. But if you have Quicksilver slammed on her, then she can't get flipped. So it's a lot more reliable frontline. So yeah, it's a weird, it, like you usually think of it as like a carry item, but it can actually be really yeah. solid on like a lot of tanks. Um, I'll try slamming that. Yeah. Just uh, test it out, see what it happens. Yeah, especially Vex. So I... I, from this spot, would probably end up playing a three Yordles board with Poppy, Ziggs, and Vex, semi Quicksilver, and probably Sunfire. It's like a decent um, slam. And then playing plus one unit, maybe it would be like a Caitlyn. I mean, you could also even just stay um, 
level three with that board and try to find like a Ziggs two and a Poppy. Um, but yeah, so we end up playing we have this board here. I mean, I think Kassadin's a good early tank. We sold our Vex, so we can't play Yordles anymore. Um, so there's not actually many synergies we can get in. I think Caitlyn's a really strong just early game unit to get in, so I think that's fine. I might even, because I don't think we're winning a lot of these fights, I might even get in two Caitlyn's here like you had before. We get in Bodyguards, but I think like, I feel like we have too much frontline here. Like, how do we ever kill a unit with this board? Like, maybe um, our Kassadin can very slowly get through them, it looks like. He can, but I'd, I'd probably rather <laughs> play um, one or two Caitlyn's here just to like guarantee we kill some units. We killed two here, so not bad. Um, all right, and then we get Caitlyn, two Poppy, too. Okay, so we have a board. Um, and yeah, I mean, I would even like to play the Gnar over the... Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's awkward because you, you want to get the Caitlyn in as well. Um, but I guess you could play this for now. Um, yeah. I think at this point, I just realized I can just win streak real hard for mm -hmm. the next few rounds. I don't know what it's like in your Elo, but usually if you have this many two stars, it's everyone's greeting or yeah. just playing garbage. Yeah, no, I think this is a fine board. I, it's like at my Elo, this, it, it can definitely win some rounds. There's maybe a world where you fight someone who's like Omega High rolled their board and you like can't win. Oh, and we had Blitz too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this board can definitely win streak. And then oh, I. I keep wanting to get Yordles in here just because we have the Poppy too, but it's it's pretty awkward here. We like we'd have to lose rounds to get in Yordles, so it's not really worth it. Um, and we just have this Redemption slammed. I mean, you could you could just put like Caitlyn in the corner, slam Quicksilver, and then look to use it as an offensive item and play like a Sivir comp. Uh, like Sivir really likes Quicksilver, so you could potentially do that. Um, let's see, we can even make gold here by selling the Singe. I don't think we're ever. Yeah, I, I'd be down to sell. Yeah, uh, the Cassidy as well is totally fine. Um, okay, but uh, we should look for some kind of offensive item here, like maybe a bow or a sword, if we want to play like an AD route. You talked about sending the redemption, so maybe you want to, I mean, even in that comp, you can play um, like Senna as an AD carry, though. You can't really get anything offensive here, so a little bit rough, but yeah, this seems fine. Take one of the three costs, I'm trying to... Yeah, three cost and Vil Thorn Mail, I think I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems fine. Put in the Singed, yeah, that looks good to me. Um, yeah, this this looks totally fine. I think you can definitely win streak with this board. Um, I mean, yeah, you have all two star units at uh two five. Yeah, I I agree with putting. I would put the poppy uh in the corner, um, here just because. Yeah, I think you saw me rotate, and there's another blitz there. So mm -hmm. it was it was number one guy too. I think no, it must have been someone else. Um, but yeah, I swapped that around. Had it, the blitz pull. Mm -hmm. tank and then pray yeah yeah and that sounds good to me yeah i mean the only problem with this comp is you're a little bit low damage but um it's probably okay i feel like it's so tanky that 2k ults will get off and that mm -hmm. should be enough to win it almost anything yeah and if you position like this it's pretty unlikely that kate's getting like uh jumped on by a, a talent or something so yeah i think this is good but yeah i i would look at potentially building quicksilver here it's a little bit like it's still kind of low damage. Um, like it's it's like sort of a defensive item for your carry. So I I wouldn't feel bad uh, here about. I, just, I was just so strong that yeah I can greet out the glove for mm -hmm. yeah something yeah definitely you you don't have to slam it okay and then sword plus tier. Um, I mean, you're probably not gonna be able to slam like two good items here. Like with the tier, if you're if you want to play like an AD route, you could slam a hand of justice um and then you can play that on like a draven or like a super late game like a, a jinx um you could slam ie here but then you just have like chalice you slam quicksilver but then you have shojin so you're probably only gonna be able to slam one item here i guess we'll see what we get off uh there's another giant's belt the spatula okay i'm kind of down for like a striker game here with like sivir carry um we crack our tome here and, i mean i think it's fine there because you're on a win streak to just Get this immediately there is also a world where you cannot um crack the tome there and wait a while until your board looks a little bit more like something that you want to play late game um so that you get do you know how the like the tome works the like, yeah okay so yeah um because like a lot of the synergies you have in here like i don't know if we get chem tech are we really playing that mutant i i still don't even uh, know what mutant is i mean like innovator 
maybe, but we have no Ezreal. It's kind of rough. I think I would just take like Scrap Emblem here, or whatever's going to make your board strong, and just play for that. Um, and like I was saying, we have the Spatula, we have the Sword. You can build a Striker Emblem, make a Quicksilver, and look to build uh, Silver items, and just play Silver from here. I think is pretty uh, pretty straightforward. Okay, we take the Scrap Emblem. That's good. We should Scrap something, ideally. We end up slamming IE, um, but I'm interested. Uh, and then we slam Double Redemption. Okay, so like you are definitely looking to play that. <laughs> um, the, the Enchanter for it, but I think it's... I mean, maybe we can make it work from here, but I still, I don't know, I haven't played it much myself since they nerfed it, because I was just kind of like, eh. I, I still, I thought it was, like, okay, even, uh, like, pre-nerf, so, like, post-nerf, I'm really, like, not looking to play it, but I'm interested to see how the game goes. It's um, definitely fun. Yeah. I like seeing the redemptions just tick. Just like, mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. There's some free HP. Yeah. It is, it is definitely fun. Um, yeah, I mean, you can get whatever in here. I... Maybe Mal's uh, Cinder's okay. I, I just want someone who's going to deal some damage. Um, I think I wanted the Scholar yeah. for my Caitlyn. Yeah, the the Scholar is nice. Yeah, I, I think Cinder's probably best here. Um, and yeah, I would yeah definitely make 40. Okay, so we're chilling. Good streak. Um, yeah, we just have to see what we end up playing like him here. Um, I guess the Enchanter's build. If we want to do something like that, then... I mean, it's probably back, but Sunfire Board is okay, but, like, if you're playing Double Redemption, your fights are going to be going really long, and then Sunfire Board is only really helping you at the beginning of them. Sunfire Board is really nice if you have, like, a Challenger's comp where you want to just, like, cut through the entire enemy team really quickly, but, like, a comp where you have Double Redemption slammed, you're trying to, like, play a really long fight. So I think something like Backfoot is fine. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not the worst here, but I'd probably take Backfoot. Um, mm. I mean, it is a little bit awkward with the, like, enchanter positioning, but I still think... Yeah. Um, I think it's it's fine. I, I think that, like, everyone grouped up in the middle with the enchanter thing is, like, it's okay, but I think it's uh, it's totally fine to just... Definitely has, like, weaknesses. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And we have this spatula here, which I'm... It's, it's a bit awkward to use it in that comp. I mean, you can make, like, Arcanist spatula um, to help with, like, Ari um you can make i mean at this point there's really like nothing to grab i guess it's tier or tier um so we take a tier which i mean let's see was there did we only get tier or tier yep okay well yeah <laughs> damn i mean it'll be our third redemption we're chilling i i think at this spot you don't really need to roll like uh if you're on this win streak here if anything like if you want to spend your gold aggressively you can like level up so there's not much to level for here i guess like after you rolled you found an mf which would actually be pretty nice to help with your damage but i don't think you need to roll in this spot um it's similar to the other game where i i just don't i tend not to roll uh, at the end of stage three because okay so we end up rolling we find a senna and then we level up and probably try to get some of this stuff in but like um you could have just if if you really want to roll you could have leveled and then rolled first uh, as opposed to rolling and then leveling just because you're, okay you're getting, yeah i haven't really thought about that mm -hmm. yeah you're just getting access to better units if you uh if you level first in general and unless you're doing some like reroll comp where you're looking for like only two cost units um but like no i'm definitely mindlessly just rerolling and said oh wait <laughs> i should probably level <laughs> yeah that's fair it's definitely fair. my thought process that is that's fair and okay so mutant synaptic okay so there, so there could have been an interesting though like our items were kind of scuffed to play synaptic mutant but if we had checked it earlier maybe there's some world where we play synaptic i mean we have like the two tiers that rent to redemption could have been blue buff um and if we if we could have gotten a mutant spat like synaptic mutant ari is just like broken um like if you can get synaptic mutant um put the put the spatula on an ari or put the, the emblem on an ari you're chilling we also had um we we got the spatula and we had a cloak, so like way way back when earlier. Oh maybe. yeah, it could have been a mutant. Uh, it, yeah, it could have been a mutant spat. Like we hid an Ari here. I think there actually could have been a really good um, like synaptic mutant uh Ari game here. So that that's something to think about as well, which is why like checking the mutant early uh helps a lot because it you know you can it can inform your decision making throughout the entire game. Um, so yeah, but yeah, we hit another Senna. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel bad about rolling a bit here to try to make a, a bit of a stronger board. Um, but yeah, I'm still like, I guess we have like Shojin here to potentially go. I mean, I would I would even put the, the Senna in already and put the Shojin on her if you want to play around that. 
Um, and yeah, we're we're going for like the redemption on our back line with a um, a bramble. Yeah, I think I wanted to swap in yeah. Lulu, but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna sell the Mel's right after. Yeah, you're gonna sell the Mel's immediately, so it's fine to praying. But yeah, I, got, I did lose. Yeah, that sucked, but it's fine. Whatever. Okay. So we get the, the triple redemption Lulu and have the bramble vest there. Um, yeah, I'd I'd be completely down to get the Senna in already. Um, yeah, this looks good. I mean, is there anything? Better that we could have played the Vi is fine. We could get a Malzahar in just to farm some gold. Uh, we we're 82 HP, but I also don't feel too bad about just trying to play a stronger board. Um, okay, well we have the, we got the triple redemption Lulu comp. That's, yeah, it's going. It's going. The super random Victor here, which could be. I mean, we have the Shojin as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm super down to do this. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, I mean, the Vi's not really doing anything. It would have been nice to have the Vex. I and mean, we could just put in Vex here. We would have got Arcanist and Yordle in. Because, like, true. it's probably... Your board with Vex over um, over uh, Vi here is probably about the same. Just because, like, I mean, Vex is a worse unit than Vi, but um, getting the Arcanist in would probably make your board about the same power. But you'd also get all the Econ um, of true. having Yordles Yeah, in. I don't think I even thought about that. But we do. Have I feel like two Arcanist buff isn't that good. I feel like, mm -hmm. oh yeah. I mean, I, I, just, I haven't really thought about it. Yeah, it's nice in that it just gives it to your entire team. So it's just a nice little oh true buff uh, to to all your units. Um, so even though it's small, it's it's pretty helpful. There's a oh, I mean, if we could get this special off here, so that'd be amazing. But I bet on this patch, people are taking them. Yeah. Um. So I mean, we could take Arcanist Patchula. Yeah, that seems reasonable to me. Um. Or take Arcanist, take to take the rod to make Arcanist emblem. That seems quite reasonable. It ascended to. That's nice. Okay, so we're actually in a pretty good spot here. I'm definitely just thinking about like not rolling at all and going eight. Um, we roll down. I mean, we find a Vi two. Okay, there is no way we need to roll after we hit Vi two here. We are we are actually chilling on this board. I mean, the only issue is that we're just carrying a Senna and like the Victor's a little bit uh like weak, but like we have Vi two, Morgana two, Lulu two, like. Our entire board is two starred, uh, except for Victor. I, we are we are like yeah. Actually, I don't know why I'm rolling. Oh, yeah. I think I wanted um, replace Poppy with a two star Leona, but I wasn't hitting Leona. Yeah, and I think I sell for fifty. So I, I think that's usually what I do. I just roll like I have one idea of what I want to replace. Roll down until I hit um, income, mm -hmm. and then just sell. Yeah, I definitely did not sell, but oh well. Yeah. It's only one gold. That's how I view it. Mm -hmm. I assume that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I, I hear what you're saying, but it's also like all the gold that you roll uh, is gold that you could be spending towards leveling later. So like even uh -huh. if you're, say you're at like 70 gold and you're rolling your gold above 50, um, like you could just use that gold to go level 8 to go level 9 and cap out your board really high. I mean, I'm pretty sure show the spotlight is great here. Um, is that bottom square? Like it's not? It, no, it's, it's real. It's, it's okay. just a visual bug. But yeah, it it counts as a like a socialite hex. But yeah, it is. I yeah, they they still haven't fixed that. But yeah, sometimes they just don't show up for some reason. I think the sent up here is a little bit sus. Though I mean, I guess you don't really want you don't want her getting really, hooked. Yeah. Um. Like maybe... definitely have the Lulu in the middle. I think it took me like a round or two to realize I didn't have her there. Mm hmm. But yeah, okay. So I mean, at this point, I'm looking to go level eight, roll, and then hit um, like three socialite, and then just play a really strong board with that. Um, yeah, okay. So that's good. But yeah, I I would still look at moving Senna back a little bit, probably swapping her in Victor, just because um, you'd ideally want her ulting through like your entire team, whereas here she's ulting through like a few units on the front line, but not really everyone else. Um, and we get. Okay, a bunch of AP. I mean, Death Cap for Victor looks pretty good. Uh, Death Cap, Arcanist Emblem, and I guess just a Zephyr seems totally fine. I mean, go eight here. Yeah, by the Gnar looks great. Uh, I would continue. I mean, I guess like so. Like the the next unit you could get in here is Seraphine. Just get in triple socialite. You have a lot of healing already though, so it's not like that crazy. But yeah, definitely Death Cap here, Arcanist Emblem, um, and then just a Zephyr. Uh, I don't think there's anything else you'd want to build here. Yeah, because then you're... If you don't build uh, that, like... Yeah, if you build Ionic Spark here, then you have, like, Chemtech Emblem, which, like... I mean, I guess uh, Chemtech Emblem could actually work if you pick up the Renata here. Um, 
you could get Renata in, plus uh, like a Zyra, get in Scholar, or get in... You probably don't want to get in a uh, Silco, just because he's going to kill your entire team. But actually, Chemtech Emblem could be pretty good here. So I'm, I'm actually down for this as well. Um, yeah, it's just... Now it's hard. You have a lot of units to get in. Um, I mean, like, you could end up cutting the bodyguards and just using um, Morgana plus, like, maybe Renata as your front... Or just Nar plus uh, Morgana as your front line. Cut those. End up putting in Renata to get in Scholar, get in Chemtech. And then also, later you can hit a, uh, a Seraphian is something that you could do as well. Um, that, I think that's Who would you Chemtech? Hmm? Who would you Chemtech? Probably, uh, in this comp, just Morgana. Just usually, usually I like putting it on my tankiest tank. Though, I mean, if we saw a Vi in, uh, Chemtech Vi is really good as well. Um, but I don't know if we'd be able to fit in Vi in the full comp. There. I don't remember what I do. Yeah, we don't need... We, yeah, we I know I make it Chemtech, but I don't know who I put it on. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're 46 HP here. I'm, I, I'm like, uh, especially like thinking about the like more greedy lobbies, I would be interested in just potentially looking to go nine here. I mean, our board's not that strong, but we might be able to. Though hitting the Seraphine is really good. Okay, and then we get uh, that in, though, just at the, the last second because it got auto put in. But yeah, then we can make the Chemtech. Uh, we have triple socialite. Um, looks looks pretty decent. Our positioning here is a little bit rough. Um, so we took mm -hmm. some damage, and we didn't have the Chemtech bat slammed yet. Um, but I think this is a decent board, uh, and we are top board. It looks like. Um, yeah, just a death cap probably for even even more damage on our victor. Looks good to me. Yeah, that was definitely the process thought process. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, I would I would frontline yeah Morg, Nar. I would just put Seraphine back here. If she gets hooked, it's not the end of the world. I would still yeah. I forgot she gave a bonus attack speed, so she's up there for a few rounds. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then also getting the um, I, I still want the Senna further back so that she'll she will have a higher chance of ulting through our team as opposed to like now she can she'll never end up ulting through our team. Basically, she'll hit like maybe one frontline unit. Uh, but like Nar's a fine frontline unit. You can that get bonus. Huh? How does the sun assault work? It, it just I thought it was only it just heals the units that it goes through. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's nice to have her like ideally like cornered, but I mean in a situation like this where you want to give her share of the spotlight, which is totally fine, yeah. you can just put her at the back. Um but yeah, I, I would definitely be frontlining Nar over I mean either or Oriana can like kind of be a frontline, though I think she's just gonna have burst down and die before I mean, it depends on the fight, but she might just get burst down and die before she can ult. Um and we definitely We've been sitting on this Chemtech spat for, for years, and it actually like provides a lot of value to our comp, so I definitely would get that in. Um, but yeah, we, we rolled a decent bit at 7. I mean, hitting the Seraphine was good. Oh my goodness, another Victor. We could actually get Victor 2 here, and then our comp is like chilling. Um, but yeah, definitely definitely slam uh, Chemtech spat like a few rounds ago just to get value on. Like It'll make Morgana tankier. I mean... If you are really looking to get like a, a final item on, oh my god, we hit Victor. That's nice. Um, on Morgana, then yeah, you can like wait until here, and you could have slammed it on someone else. But I would have just slammed it on Morgana, um, and then Titans can go on whoever once you end up getting it. But I think this is, I mean, this is fine as well. Kempex Bat on uh, on Senna here, I think, is decent as well. I mean, she's probably your next best candidate, other than like Nar maybe. But I think this is fine. Yeah, we hit the Victor too. Uh, our board's decently strong. We've lost like. We lost a bit, uh, like a lot of our HP during stage five, just because we didn't slam the Kempex bet. I would have locked the Nar. There's not that much we have left to roll for. Um, so locking in the shop so that you could get the Nar would have been nice. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that button. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty decent board. We'll see where we actually end up finishing. But I mean, the Victor two is with all this stuff is really nice. Okay, that's top two. Okay, we end up hitting Nar two. Our positioning still, we're still. A little scuffed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit scuffed, but you know, what well, position doesn't matter. We have triple redemption in the middle. We're we're chilling. It is a full assassins. I'm not sure how else I would have. <laughs> I guess he had a Draven though too, so I had I left the Morgana up in front too to tank that. Mm -hmm. And then I couldn't really kind of just sacked those scholars so that kill them, I guess. Yeah. Waiting I mean, for Victor and pray. Yeah, I mean versus most players, uh having the Seraphine up here is kind of whack, but 
Versus uh, the Assassin's player, yeah, it, it does make sense to backline your front line. So I think versus this guy specifically, I think it's fine. But having the uh, Seraphine in your front line for like the other five fights, probably. Oh yeah, that was not ideal. <laughs> that was that definitely blew over me. Yeah. Would you put this uh, Silco in? I don't think so. Anywhere? I don't think so. Um, like the most obvious swap is over the Zyra, but yeah, I mean, you can you can look at how quickly the fights are going. Um, in general, though, like. The idea of this comp is that you're going to have really, really long fights, um, and like Silco may end up just blowing up all your units and killing them before. Um, yeah, I've seen that happen before. Yeah, so that I. Was bad. Yeah, I would. I would default to not playing Silco in this comp. Um, but yeah, you have. Uh, yeah, your, your fights last pretty long, so yeah, I would. I would not play Silco here. So yeah, your board is. It's basically just going to be this. You can lock at your backline, I guess, to make them even tankier. Seraphine. Um, yeah, there's not much to roll for here at this point, so you can roll down a bit. Uh, yeah, lock at your back line, and we'll see how the fight goes. Yeah, I think we're not. I think we're not gonna make it versus this guy's cap no. assassin board. But a second, yeah. still pretty good. Um, but yeah, just the mo most of the stuff I talked about through the game. I think the sunfire board. I. Probably, but I mean, like, if you're really, really dedicated to going this triple redemption Lulu in the middle board, then I guess it, <laughs> it does make sense because, like, you're really not getting any value out of uh, back foot here. Um, I think my thought process for the Sunfire was I was scouting through, and I felt like it would counter uh, the challengers because mm -hmm. there were like three or four players when I scouted during that augment. But even then, I don't think that thought process was correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I guess it's still fine. Yeah, it's I mean, good enough. If 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 the world is you're always playing the comp where you're putting Yordle or you're putting Lulu in the middle and then frontlining basically your whole board here, then it makes sense because I mean like you can't take back foot because it's only going to give value to like two units. Um, would you have taken a uh, battle mage? I you think that would have been the best. Then? Yeah, yeah. I mean, in that world, battle mage is better. I guess when I was in this spot, I was thinking more about playing something AD. Um, so I was thinking like back foot would be nice. Like I was talking about earlier with like the potential to play like Sivir, like Striker Sivir from this um, spot. Like you can, you could have made a Striker emblem with the uh, spatula you got. You um, would have got a, you, you picked up Scrap Emblem, which you played throughout the entire game, which was fine. But that would also be good in like a Scrap Striker Sivir board. Um, you have like a QSS um, that you could slam, which is one of Sivir's best items. Um, so like QSS plus Striker, uh, end up playing AD from here, take like back foot, it could be really solid. Um, or there's like the the potential uh, board that I was talking about like really early where you had that Vex, you could have slammed tank items on Vex and like maybe played an AP uh, game from here. That's also very possible. There's there's a lot of different oh, yeah. uh, possibilities this game. And also, if you had checked Mutant earlier and known that it was Synaptic Mutant, you could also think about playing towards Synaptic Mutant. And then we wouldn't, we probably wouldn't end up slamming this IE. Um, we probably just end up playing that Vex board, and then eventually, once we get this like spatula, um, like if if we still had this cloak plus uh, spatula here, then we can make a a mutant spat, and then like play. I mean, yeah, we hit a lot of like random Malzahars, uh, and I think Chogaths throughout the game, so we could definitely have ended up playing like synaptic mutants and uh, ended up with a really strong board because I think like that board can just straight up win win games if you have uh, synaptic spatula already. But I mean, we we ended up with in a pretty interesting spot. Uh, that ended up working out pretty well. Going second, not bad. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, we take those. Um, but yeah, I just a, a lot of random things in the game that I think uh, can be improved upon. But I mean, we we take those second. If you go second every game, then you're you'll be climbing. Um, I'll be number one in no time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rank one. Um, okay, so yeah, that's uh, that, that's space. I went a little bit over time, but I always do that because I want to say everything that's in my head. I appreciate head. it. Yeah, Thank all good. Um, but yeah, uh, I... Okay, so I recorded this. I will... Um, here, let me stop recording while...